it's me Elizabeth Lauren and welcome to my channel so today I have a orthodontist appointment here in Texas and I'm actually really happy that finding an orthodontist was easier than my referral for an OB because that took forever and I literally scheduled this appointment like two weeks ago so I'm happy and on October 7th it'll be a year and four months that I've had my braces on which is exciting because I've noticed so many changes in my teeth and I love how my teeth look right now like they're so straight and so nice and yeah if you'd like to go with me to my orthodontist appointment and you know hear a little update on my teeth then just keep watching finally at my appointment and I'm about to go inside. I probably won't film just because I don't know what I'm doing today. I may have a consultation and then have to go to another appointment and I'm really hoping I don't have to because I literally just have to change the power chain and that's it. So I'm hoping I can just get it done today so I don't have to go back here but we will see. <laughs> Okay, so I just had my consultation and they want me to come back at around 6 today because I have to get papers faxed over so that they can do maintenance on my teeth. Yeah, I'm kind of annoyed just because the dentist here wants to do extra stuff and my other dentist is like, don't do anything, just change the power chain. So it's a little frustrating, but hopefully I can get this done today so I don't have to come back here because... I just don't like making appointments like it's not fun so I'm gonna go get some lunch at McDonald's down the road because I'm hungry and yeah gotta feed the baby thanks for the counselor get free. hello um can I get two large mocha frappes mm -hmm. and two McDoubles and one large fry please I will definitely be and that'll be it thank you thank you thank you you too So I'm at my appointment and let's hope that I can get my power chain replaced because I really don't want to come here again so. So I'm sorry for the background and any background noise you hear. I have both my dogs in here and they're sleeping and Nova sometimes snores and also dreams a lot so you'll hear like little dog whimpers in the background occasionally but um, just know he's sleeping over there. But I'm actually filming the rest of my video today on October 2nd, which I cannot believe yesterday I didn't even mention that it's finally spooky season because it's my favorite month ever. Like I love October, it's so much fun. I honestly wish I was born in October because spooky vibes, I love. And I'm filming today because my appointment yesterday was at six at night, so it basically was like an hour long, which I'll get into that whole experience in a minute. And then right after that, I went to Hobby Lobby to buy some backdrops so you don't have to look at this anymore. And then after that, I ate because my baby was really hungry. I literally hadn't eaten since McDonald's yesterday. So that was like at 12-ish. And yeah, I was really hungry and I wasn't feeling good and I was really tired over yesterday, so I'm filming today. And let me just say, going from one orthodontist to the other is really not fun, especially when you have one orthodontist opinion and you know you trust them, you've been with them for a while and then you have to go get something temporarily done and they wanna make even more changes or they just don't know what's going on even though you're telling them literally I just need my power chain replaced and to keep the wire and put it right back in 
so it was stressful. I had to go to the 6 o'clock appointment because basically at the 11 o'clock appointment that I had, I had to have paperwork sent over from North Dakota, sent all the way to Texas and my dentist was really busy. They're very busy all the time and I couldn't get my paperwork sent in in time. So they were like, can you come in later on today? And I was like, yes, because I'm trying to get this done. I only have one appointment to go to, so yeah. And I got my paperwork sent over, but the lady that was doing my teeth still didn't really know what to do, even though I told her, I guess the people that were working earlier in the day didn't let her know. I don't really know what was going on, but yeah, it was a little confusing, but she was really nice and my teeth are really sore. Normally my teeth are sore after an appointment, but that's because they put in a new wire, but I honestly think it was because she was yanking on my teeth, like it was bad. So basically I have a power chain and I'll show y'all in a second but I have a power chain on my top teeth only. And as y'all can see, it's a different color. She changed the color and she was trying to put the power chain actually on top of my wire instead of underneath the wire. And I was like, I don't think that's what you're supposed to do, but I wasn't trying to tell her to do her job, you know what I mean? So it was kind of like going with it, but at the same time, I just had a bad feeling. And so she was cutting the power chain underneath my wire so she moved my wires a little bit and then she started cutting the rubber bands and like taking them out that way which also the dentist in North Dakota never did so I thought it was weird then she was trying to put the power chain on top of the wire and every single time she got to my front teeth it would like snap and she'd have to start over so she would have to take them off one by one and she was like pulling on this tooth right here like really really bad like I was even making like a face because I'm like oh my god this hurts really bad and she was like yanking on it and she's like I'm sorry I know this is painful and I'm like it's really painful like it's really bad it hurts and I'm surprised my teeth didn't come out like she was pulling really hard like yanking on a rubber band like imagine a rubber band being on your tooth and you're just pulling that's how it was so she finally got it off and she was like okay I'm just gonna have to take the wire out and I'm like yes finally she's gonna do it the right way so she took the wire out but she was having trouble with that also and it was mostly because she didn't want to break the wire because this wire had to go back in and I didn't know the size of the wire either, so it wasn't like I could tell her, oh, the wire that I have up here is this size, you know what I mean? So it was really stressful. She finally got it out and then put the power chain back on and it finally went on the right way. And then she had a lady help her put the wire back in because it was not going back in because I think she bent the wire. That's what the other lady said. So yeah, it took like an hour to do that and it wasn't fun they were also trying to get me to come back and schedule another appointment for any maintenance that I need done but my dentist literally told me in North Dakota to just change the power chain and then in March which will be my next appointment with them I actually made it the other day um, because I don't know exactly when we'll be back in North Dakota with the baby and everything since I'm having my baby here But they were like trying to add colors down here. She even added a pink power chain I really didn't want a color Even though I never was offered a color in North Dakota, so I thought that was pretty cool But I didn't want a color just because I liked the gray silvery color because you can't see it whenever I'm talking this is really noticeable and it also kind of makes my teeth look a little yellow I guess because it's pink I don't know I should have picked a different color but what are you gonna do I love pink anyway before I show you my teeth currently I want to talk about the progress I've noticed in the last couple of months because my last appointment was in May and it's been a while so as you know in May I had my braces appointment 
and then right after that we went back home to texas and that's when i found out i was pregnant in june well that's actually when it happened as well so around june and a little bit in july i had really bad morning sickness which is not fun with braces by the way especially when one of the triggers for my morning sickness was the toothpaste that i would use so I would be brushing my teeth and instantly have to run to the toilet, throw up, and then brush my teeth again. So not fun. Flossing, had to do that a lot. I just felt gross all the time. My mouth was dry and yeah, I didn't wear my rubber bands because a lot of the time when I did have morning sickness, it was either late at night or early in the morning and I didn't want to risk having my bands in and having to lean over my bed at night and throwing up in a trash can. So yeah, TMI, I know. But that's why I don't have any footage for June because I didn't film any because I didn't wear my rubber bands and I saw zero progress at all. But in July, I did see a little bit of progress. I started wearing my rubber bands whenever I didn't feel sick, which would be off and on about like a week. So like a week I would wear them and then I would get sick for a week and then I'd wear them again, then I'd get sick again. So it was kind of like whenever I just felt like wearing them, which is bad, I know, but I just was not feeling well. I also started to have gaps on my lower teeth. I don't know if that's from my teeth shifting more this way, but they were starting to shift more and I still had a gap right here like I've been talking about in my previous videos from where my teeth were pulled and there's like a little gap there which is why I have to wear rubber bands in the first place so that they can move my teeth back this way and so that it fixes my bite because I have a overbite and they're trying to lower it a little bit more and kind of straighten my jaw because my jaw is really crooked. But other than my teeth having space in between them on my bottom teeth, I really didn't notice too much of a difference in July. But in August, I was finally starting to feel a little bit better. I still had some days where I was nauseous and therefore I wouldn't wear my bands, but I was trying to wear them a lot more and just push myself not to get sick. And I was doing better that month. So I still had gaps where they pulled my teeth, but I also had a gap or like a bit of space in between my bottom and top teeth. Basically, when I bite down like this, there's a little bit of space right here and on the side, but in August it was a lot more noticeable. And also the gap where I had my teeth pulled was closing a lot more but it's still there there's still a gap even now there's still kind of a gap because it's still closing and my teeth are still shifting but for sure in August I was really spaced out because of me not wearing my bands as much as I was supposed to I was wearing them more than I did in July but I wasn't wearing them every single day and every night like I was supposed to and in September I actually wore my rubber bands a lot more Mostly at nighttime, not so much as in the day, but I'm gonna start, I promise. It's just been really hard, and no. To be honest, I'm just making excuses, but I'm gonna try to wear my rubber bands more because I really wanna see progress, and I'm trying to get my braces off. So, yeah. But I have been wearing them a lot more, I will say that. But what I've noticed is my top front teeth have actually gone down more, and my bite has actually closed a lot more and you know shifted where it's supposed to and the gap where my teeth were pulled are a lot more closed they're not completely closed but it's way better than it was and the spaces in between my top and bottom teeth are a lot more lower on my left side than they were on my right side um, for some reason I still have a bit of a gap on my right side Probably from the rubber bands and you know not wearing them like I was told to wear them I also noticed that my top canine teeth have shifted a lot more back this way like they're supposed to um, I believe my right side is still a little bit towards the front and hasn't completely gone 
you know, back further. But it's getting better with the rubber bands, I will say. And I'm really happy with my teeth. And that's pretty much all the progress my teeth has made so far. Now it's time to show you what my teeth look like currently with the new power chain and everything. Okay, so I zoomed y'all in and my power chain is pink. Look at it, it's so cute. And yeah, like I said, all that really changed was the power chain, the wires on my top and bottom are still the same. And I still have a bit of a gap right here. And here. Oh, I almost forgot. So yesterday I actually did notice something that happened with my teeth. I don't know if it's from the power chain and my teeth are gonna just go back how they were, but my front teeth shifted and they're really sore, like really, really sore. But basically they kind of shifted like this so I don't know if you can see, but this tooth right here is more this way, and this tooth is pushed back. It's really weird. It's like shifted, and I don't know why. I'm hoping once I start wearing my rubber bands more, my teeth will kind of straighten back out. If not, that is something I am going to bring up to my dentist, just because... I don't know. Like, I don't know if it's from that lady pulling on my teeth yesterday, but dang, like, they're sore and all of a sudden my tooth is like this, like it's weird. So it's me from the future and um, I'm mad. Basically I have to go back to the dentist today and fix what they did to my teeth because my front teeth are shifting now. You can even tell from far away. They're shifting and my tooth is actually going back because the wire is not even in the bracket. It's literally sitting on top of the bracket on this one tooth right here. Yeah, it's going to be so fun to go back there because I really didn't want to go today. I wanted to edit. Also, I got this really cute shirt off of Facebook. It says Basic Witch and it has a little Starbucks girl. So cute and festive for October. I got this off of a Facebook group called Sutton and Grace and they have really cute baby clothes as well as t-shirts. So I will link them below and y'all can check them out if you want to because they're really cute. Love it. And yeah, I made a SOS appointment. That's what the lady called it. So that I could get this done today. I really didn't want to go today. I was going to go tomorrow and put it off because that's what I do procrastinate but it's actually good that I'm going today and getting it over with so I will update y'all whenever I get back and show y'all if it fixed it or show y'all the results in a couple days when it is fixed so hopefully I'll include that somewhere in this video so I just got back and my teeth are already looking a lot better which is making me really happy the only concern I have is that if I put my rubber bands back in, is that going to cause my wire to pop out of the bracket again? I don't know. But I'm just worried because I don't want this to pop out again. Like, I'm literally going to tear up my food and just eat it like that instead of biting into things because I don't want to risk having to go back there again because that would be really annoying. And the funny part is I actually got the same lady and she literally was pushing this tooth like forward like really hard and I even had to like go like that because it hurt like this tooth is very sensitive right now ever since she messed up the first time I even told her about the wire being across my bracket and she tried to blame my tooth being pushed back on the power chain and not the fact that the wire isn't in the bracket and I'm just like this literally happened right when I left that place, like before my power chain was fine and then I go there and then my teeth get crooked again. But at least it's over now and I'm just hoping that the wire stays in place. And yeah, just wanted to update y'all. And yeah, I cannot believe it's been a year and almost four months, literally in a couple days it'll be four months, 
that I've had braces. It's crazy the progress I've noticed and I really hope that my teeth continue to get better and I love it. I love to smile now and not cover my face and it just, it makes me really happy. So thank y'all for watching my braces update videos and coming along with me to see the progress because it's really cool to look back on how my teeth were and how much they've changed in such a short amount of time. My next update video should be in March because that's when I'll have my next dentist appointment. That's a lot of time in between update videos, I know, but that's literally when my next appointment is. And yeah, thank y'all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. It would seriously make my whole entire day. I also post little updates on my Instagram of my teeth as well, so y'all should follow me and all my other social media to see what I'm doing when I'm not on YouTube. And yeah, I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye loves!